Hey guys, if you like what I do on this channel, make sure you click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. With there being a bunch of Avengers Endgame big figs and minifigures out there available for you guys, I figured why not branch off and do some of the other Marvel big figs slash minifigures that are out there. These are all customs. These are custom uh, brick designs, not official Lego but they are uh, Lego-esque, I will say. So definitely usually not the best quality, but uh, I like seeing some of these uh, designs and hopefully someone, sometime, maybe Lego will officially make them. So let's start off with Big Fig number one. This is Spider-Man Marvel Rhino. Now, I never played the PS4 Spider-Man game, but I'm guessing this is, what, this is what this one is from. At least I think it is. You guys gotta correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Usually I am wrong, so I rely on you guys to tell me what's right. And uh, this overall design is really nice. I do love the look on this. I love the paint scheme throughout this whole character. It is done very well. Very, very crisp details. Nice contrast, specifically in the torso. You can see all that, uh, that silver lining throughout the whole character. It's really bright, very crisp. It's done with very uh, a lot of care and intent. So I do appreciate that. I love the overall sculpt for the arms. They are custom molded. They're not just uh, regular like big fig Lego arms copycatted and put it into this. They are unique. Same thing with this head. He comes with this uh, unique head print and uh, he has a couple attachments for the horns right here. This horn backwards looks a little bit weird, but uh, nothing that's really that off. It does still translate pretty well into this character. He's got the real Lego-esque face, I will say. So I do like that. I like the overall printing on this character. My one complaint is that he is pretty light, especially just comparing like between brands. Like this is Karoot brand right over here for this uh, Thanos. And this one, I don't know what this brand name is, but I could say it just feels a bit lighter than this character right here. Even I know there's a base on him. So even if you take the base off, it feels like it's just got more oomph to it. So I could be off, but uh, I want to say this one weighs a little bit less. Although, with that being set, set aside, this is a fantastic character, and I definitely would recommend this one to anyone. I would love to see Marvel do, or excuse me, Lego, do an official uh, Rhino um, a Marvel Rhino figure in some way, shape, or form. At least better than what they've done in the past. I know they've done some buildable figures, and they are okay, but this looks really good, and I think it uh, fits the character the best. Minifigure number two. Okay, this obviously being Iron Man, I don't know what brand again this one is, this might be Karoot as well, but um, these pieces just right off the bat, I'm not going to put these on there because they're always a lot worse than the actual official Lego ones, so I'm going to toss those to the side and we will never use those again. This print is actually done very well. I do like the paint scheme of this entire character. It looks really good. I love the shiny gold look, which Lego doesn't typically do just because a lot of time it chips off, but this is done very well. Um, I have to say I'm a little bit, I don't know, I'm a little bit thrown off by the overall details and design of this character. This is probably a stolen design from somebody. I don't know for sure, but what I will say is it's a little bit bulkier and it kind of throws off that Lego feel. I think it looks good for what it is. I just think that it kind of, it looks more like a Mini Mates character versus a Lego-esque character. That's uh, the only thing I could say. But uh, if you take off these, these pieces, you can see, I'll take off the helmet. The helmet's definitely different. I really do like this helmet compared to the actual official Lego one. I think that's a nice design. You can see he has that uh, hologram mask on front that uh, kind of, you know, when he's talking to um, Jarvis or whoever, it, uh, or Friday, maybe, I, I can't remember what the new one is, but um, I like that print. You take off the head, and I, I really do like the, uh, let me show you, the torso print. The torso's done really well. 
it's a whole bunch of detail very very solid look nice and bright and vibrant and these slide off to the right and left they're kind of just plopped on there and then these uh, hook into the hands. Those are a little bit loose. They kind of fall off a little bit. I don't know. I, I think maybe if I just leave the boots off, I think it'll look nice. I even kind of just like it like this. I think that's pretty cool just by itself. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think on this, but uh, I think it actually looks really fantastic. Great printing on the back as well. So this one, I'd give it a thumbs up. Next figure. One menacing symbiote. Now, I don't know, this one might be Riot. I know it's definitely not uh, Venom just because he looks, he's got that yellowish tint to him. I think it's Riot, but uh, it might be another one of the symbiotes. I think this is actually a really cool design. I've reviewed several of these that have these spikes all over them with all these different. Uh, I don't know, all the symbiotes with different face prints and different color molds. I think this one actually does it really well. I like the overall printing on the face piece. It looks absolutely terrifying. You can see those sharp, jagged teeth. Why is it not getting in focus? Let me move the light a little bit. See if I can get it a little bit more focus. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there, I guess. Right there? Yeah. Um, overall printing on the sides look pretty good, although they are just mirrored. Printing on the back, it is yellow on black, so it does show up a little bit light. I think they could have gone over it again. You will notice the Venom print on the back, it is embossed into this actual character, so it does kind of show through there. That's a little bit disappointing, but, and same thing in the front, you can kind of see the Venom print throughout this whole character right here. But if you take that out of the mix, I'd say it looks really good. And then also, one thing to note, same thing with this rhino back there these are different these are like pegs that stick out versus the traditional ones which look a little bit more like this and you just plop it right within there that's more uh, closer along the lines of an actual official lego this one is kind of its own thing and i think they probably do that to keep the copyright monster away but um i think it looks good i do like these creepy looking hands as well i think this character is all right Again, a little bit light as far as the overall plastic quality, but if you take that out of the mix, I think it actually represents Lego pretty well. Next figure. I am kind of surprised that this one didn't come with a stand because most of the other ones from this company actually do come with a stand. This one did not, which is kind of strange. This is the Quantum Suit Iron Man, as in a big fig form. Now, I know this doesn't necessarily make sense, but I'm on board. I really do like this overall design. I think it'd be cool if we had a big fig Iron Man. Uh, maybe more sense if it was a Hulkbuster, but uh, I just like the overall look. I know that the scale's not quite right for the face. I think it just looks really, really cool. I do like the overall printing on this. Very vibrant, very vibrant, very crisp. Look at this. I mean, the, the brights show up very bright. The darks show up dark. And it's not typical when you get a dark red and you put it over a white figure. Usually it shows up pretty poorly. And uh, I will definitely say Lego has been... Um, They've been accused of that uh, as of recently. I do like the red hands. I think it fits really nice and it actually transitions very well. Even when you take the hand off the arm, I think these print the print color is very close. It's very hard to tell the difference on that. I like the A on the side here. It is just mirrored and you can see a little bit of printing on the back. Not a whole lot going on there, but obviously the best part of this is the flip up mask and I think it just looks really cool on here. Also, we'll take the uh, Infinity Gauntlet or Nano Gauntlet. And let's plug that Nano Gauntlet into his hand and you guys could tell me how many times I put the stones in the wrong spot for the 15th time. So that is Iron Man in the Quantum Suit for Avengers Endgame. Next, minifig.
This is the Iron Spider suit uh, based on Avengers Endgame and I think a couple other ones. Although I don't know if he actually has this same printing going on uh, in Spider-Man Far From Home. I think it's different. Here's the deal with this. I think it's a cool design. Uh, Lego's already made a very similar design to this. Uh, don't get this one. This one is actually really poor and specifically when it comes to this headpiece or these uh, iron spider part that sticks on top of the neck, it flops and just so flimsy in there and I, I think it's just a bad quality of the plastic so it doesn't allow it to actually sit snugly. Just kind of continues to flop around despite of wherever you put the head. Uh, the printing is actually pretty weak too. The And I think another part to this is the red show up kind of translucent. translucent. That is a big problem with these knockoff figures is the white or the reds tend to be a little bit clear and it just doesn't look that great. It feels hollow. This whole piece feels really cheap. I don't know what brand this one is, but it's definitely not worth getting. I would not recommend it. Uh, listen, there's a lot of knockoffs that I probably would recommend. This is not one of those. Don't get this one at all. Get the official Lego one, and uh, you'll be a lot more satisfied. But uh, that is Iron Spider 14.0. All right, guys, it's that time of the video. There's one figure somewhere on the screen that is just not quite right. I need the top three subscribers to let me know which figure is wrong and put it in the comments below and let me know what is wrong with them, and I will give you a shout-out in the next video I do. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching, and until next time, you can help us take a gander.